today I'm making a wrap dress just like the one the baby is wearing I hope you'll enjoy it and when you're through watching it I hope you'll give me the thumbs up the first thing in the video you'll see me showing you how I cut the bodies then afterwards immediately afterwards I'll show you how I um, cut the sleeve the shortcut way so keep watching enjoy the video So these are um, two pieces of material and they're on the fold. I have doubled them. So the first thing I do is draw a line at the top there. And that is where you're going to start your measurement from. Right? That's the shoulder line. Then I take the length of the blouse and I add the allowance. I'm taking now the shoulder measurement. Your shoulder divide by two. I'm taking the neckline. There's two across. About two and a half down. You don't have to take it so deep, you can do two down. So I drew this uh, rectangle now to join the points. Then I'm going to uh, now make my curve right there. So I come up by about half an inch there, and then I'm gonna curve, do my neckline curve. my shoulder measurement there so what I'm doing now I'm taking off a, a half an inch for the slope for the shoulder slope look what I'm doing I'm taking off half an inch there then I'm going to now measure the armhole measurement it should be about five I make a point there and I drew a line across. Now I'm finding the midpoint of this armhole and I'm coming in by about half an inch and that point there is where I'm going to be coming in to make my curve, my armhole curve. I'm going to go straight through that point there. Now I'm putting on the bust measurement on that line there. That is the chest line and I'm putting on now the bust measurement. That is your bust divided by 4. And I'm adding the allowance of about half an inch. So I'm now making my armhole curve. Right to that point that I just made. Now if you want um, 
um, buttons in the back then you'll have to make the back part bigger by about an inch of the allowance or the button allowance or the zip allowance so there I just drew the line down from the, um, the chest measurement there a chest line down to the waist so this piece here is the front okay now I'm gonna do the back um, neckline which should be higher than the front I'm just making a, a mark there to see to show you where I'm going to be making the neckline from so the back neckline I'm just gonna go down by about one inch Okay, so it's higher than the front one then I'm going to draw my my rectangle make it easier to do my curve And I'm gonna do my curve and that's a back panel so now you can just cut it out so at the top of it now you're gonna leave about half an inch allowance at the top as well okay so remember the top there you're gonna leave half an inch allowance sewing allowance Now I'm going to show you my shortcut way how I make my sleeve. So first I make sure I have the length of the sleeve. Then I make sure I get my bicep measurement with my allowance. Maybe your other ones could be a half an inch. So, okay, length. And then you get your bicep measurement. Now what I do now, I drew a, a slanted line from the top there. A slanted line. Now this slanted line must be the length of my armhole, or the measurement of my armhole, plus a half an inch allowance so and then when i get that i do a swirly s from the top there right down to that measurement where it stopped there and then i drew that line to connect now with the bicep, the bicep measurement on the bottom and that's a quick way of doing the armhole i hope it's clear You can scoop out a little bit out of the front bit there okay because that's the front part of the sleeve just scooping out a little bit more and that's the sleeve 
So this is the material that I'm using now for the dress. It's very light. Silky and pretty. Now I use a pattern because I really do need it for because it's a wrap dress and you'll soon see why I need to use a pattern for this. So all you do is just put the pattern down on the um, doubled material, a folded material and you just cut, pin and cut. That's the back panel. Now I'm going to be cutting now the front panel. Remember, it's a wrap dress. And this is why I needed the pattern. Okay, so in the middle there is a center fold. It's a center. Okay. So I needed all of this half here and I need a piece more. To make up this part of the, the, the blouse. Maybe about three inches more. Just placing it down in fresh piece of fabric and I'm going to be pinning it and cutting. about three inches extra okay I've taken see from the center I've taken another three inches to add to this part of the, on the left So from the bottom, I'm going to take about an inch and a half up from the waist, right there, and then I'm just going to use a ruler to um to rule rule off that bit there. I want to do my slant. So I'm just doing the outline with my chalk. And that's the area I'm going to be using.
so now I'm gonna cut the other side to the blouse so I'm placing it face down like right side facing right side in order to get it right that's what we have to do the right side must face the right side okay because this is the other side to the um, blouse okay so just place it down like that pin it and you cut it And that's the two parts there. That's how it should look. That's the back. Now I'm measuring the waist because I'm now going to be cutting the skirt. I'm cutting the back panel first. Now see how I set the material? It's um it's triangular. So I set it in a triangular way. And then I place that measurement up top there, which is going to be the waist. So I'm taking the length of the skirt along with the allowance and I'm measuring from that same point where you see that line there. I'm measuring from that line. I'm not moving the tape around. I'm, every time you notice I'm just having the tape at that same point. So now I'm connecting those dots. Now when I'm cutting now, I'm going to be um, 
cutting above that line about half an inch above that line because if I cut on the line when I'm ready to stitch it's going to be too wide too big so cut about half an inch above that line I'm placing my weight on the material because I don't want it to shift my book I'm making a notch at the center. I'm also making a notch on the blouse part. This is the back part there. I'm making a notch on okay so placing how it should look when i'm when i stitch it okay that's the look now i'm going to be cutting the back not the back the front that's the back there the back panel and I'm, now i'm cutting the front so I'm going to just place the material down one fresh piece of material okay I want to get the shape right the same shape for the skirt part remember I'm cutting one side of the skirt and I want to get the same shape so I folded the, the material that way Now I'm measuring now one side of the blouse and I'm going to put that measurement on that fresh piece of material that I've laid down. And I'm just cutting out. So this is just one side of the skirt I'm cutting, one side of the front panel. No, oh, that's one side okay of the rub skirt so I'm cutting the the next side now and I'm gonna place that piece face down on a fresh piece of fabric as you can see right side facing right side I remember it's a wrap skirt
there you go so I've got the two pieces now for the um, skirt and I've got those two pieces up there for the blouse and then they're almost there Now I'm going to be cutting the, the sleeve a bit a bit bigger because I want some um, gathers at the top so I'm cutting it bigger than the actual pattern that I've got here. So I'm cutting two, another one, another sleeve, two. Making a notch in the, in the center of the sleeve, top there. Just to mark it, so when you're ready to attach it to the blouse, you know where to attach it. So I'm gonna be putting the gathers at the top there, none at the bottom. Now I'm just cutting the band. Now it's up to you how wide you want the band and what length you want the band. So it's just a rectangle piece of material you just cut and um, but one of them one of the bands should be longer than the other okay so when it's shorter when it's longer this piece that I'm cutting here is definitely short so I'm gonna be like I'm enjoying it okay so now I've got all the panels right I'm now I'm um, cutting or I have not cut um, linings to go with them all right so all the pieces have lining the same measurement See? so what material there is a lining I've gone ahead and I've um, joined, I've sewed the um, the band, okay, you can see that, just one straight stitch straight along, and at that end they have a slant at one end, alright. So you notice one is longer than the other, and you'll see why in a minute. There's, there are your two sleeves there. So there's a little stitch up there, loose stitch, and then you do your, your gathers. That is, if you want gathers in the sleeve, no one gathers in the lining. I'm just using the the um, sleeve here to get the um, the line in to cut the line in. But
So we're going to stitch up the shoulder there. And here you can put the sleeve in either before you do this close off the sides or after you close off the sides. You're going to do the same thing for the lining, stitch the shoulder and put the sleeve in as well. This is the lining. We are going to um, stitch the sides. Stitch the sides. Just going to leave the front part of it not stitched. So I've put the sleeve in. And I'm showing you now how I did it. So you find the midpoint, the part where we made the notch. You place it down right side facing right side right at the shoulder seam there and we pin you can pin it all the way around and then we stitch You do the same thing for the lining. Afterwards, we stitch the neckline onto the lining all the way down. So that's the band. And this is where you put it, right there. Material over like that, and you can pin there. I'm just showing you how I turn the um, the band over. Maybe you know already, but some people may not know. So you just make sure you put that in while you're pushing the material in into the um, the band uh, the area there, and then you um, push it right to the other end and drag it through. So now I'm going to be closing the sides. I'm going to be stitching the bottom all the way around. Then I'm going to be flipping it over. So 
So what I do here now, I just clip along the curve here. So when you clip it, it's easier to um, to turn over it's, and it's flat. When you, so when you turn it over, it's, it's really flat when you clip it. So I'm just clipping it. So this is a blouse. So I'm just marking the area where I'm going to be putting, where the band is going to be coming through. Okay. So I'm going to stitch from this, from the waist up about an inch, and then I'm going to leave a gap for the band to pass through, and then I'm going to continue sewing all the way up to the sleeve. So that's where the band will come through. So I'm going to be closing off the sides now. I'm going to stitch all the way up. So I have forgotten to um, top stitch the neckline there. So this is what you do after you finish after you finish stitching the neckline around. You turn it over and top stitch it. Now that top stitch must be on the lining, right, right across. So don't forget to top top stitch yours. Okay, all the way around. So I've um, joined the lining on the main part here. I'm going to be clipping around the hem down the bottom there. And I'm clipping it so that it is flatter when you turn it over. So I'm going to press it as well, just to keep it in place. Press it so that it can be flat and neat. It's going to be pressing along the edge there so that everything will be just neat. So I've done that. Done my ironing. I've pinned the I've pinned the waist around it to just keep it in place. I'm just going to um, turn the sleeve twice and then just stitch it. So now I've pinned the top and bottom in place. So the, the blouse is pinned onto the skirt. And this is the area there for the band. This is not stitched. 
Okay, I'll just stitch that point. And I'll leave the gap and then I carry on stitching at the top. So everything is pinned now and I'm just going to stitch across. Stitching all the way across and then you can surge the top or you can zigzag the top. See I've done stitching the sleeve. Okay. And it looks underneath. As I said, you can um, do some zigzag at the top of the stitch there to make it neat to hide the raw edges. So we are almost there now. So I'm putting the band through that slot there that we've left out for the band. There you go. This is the end of it. This is the dress. I believe it's very lovely. Thanks for watching. Look out for my next one. It will be coming soon. There you go, the near near up view. Closer look. Look how beautiful it is. Bye-bye.